Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Catman Joe and welcome back to another brand new video. Now today guys, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, we are doing an amazing seed showcase guys. This is our seed Saturday and if you guys don't know what that is, that is basically where I showcase a brand new seed once a week, which will be the greatest seed of the week basically. This seed can include survival islands, it can include just amazing worlds and I also take into account other people's views. So if you guys want to maybe even give me your seeds to try out or have a look at and if your seed is mentioned in the next seed Saturday, you guys can have a chance of your channels put down below whoever seed i do choose if i do choose yours will be put down below in the description i'll also shout you out but yeah guys so let's just begin with this seed now this seed is called sky shard guys it is an amazing survival island seed i have recently found free monster spawners and um, basically just unbelievable amount of stuff free monster spawners i know where the end is they're really all general like really easy to find things guys so in this world alone there is no villages there is no temples though no underwater sea temples which is kind of strange you would honestly think there would be some sea temples in this world um but the thing is guys really strangely that I am playing on Classic by now, right now, by the way, if you don't know. But if you do do this on, I think, 360 or on PS3, which I done this on 360 as well, this seed is actually a lot more different. You actually do get a underwater sea temple. It's really strange. And also on 360, you don't actually spawn on this island. You actually spawn on the island near the middle, the one actually just over there, which is another really strange thing. I don't know why they changed it on um, PlayStation and Xbox One, well, next-gen consoles, but whatever. It's still pretty cool, guys, and it's still the same world. Now in the bonus chest you'll notice right away you do get some minor stuff, it isn't really the greatest, but it does come with some little benefits guys. Now if you look just down here guys you can even see right away there is a massive ravine. Now there is more caves down there, I'm just not going to go all the way down, I'm just going to show you guys around a little bit. That this place is just massive. It's a great start, especially when you just start up the world. You and your friends and a few other maybe people, you guys could just come right down here, start mining, get some coal, and basically just get ready to leave. Because if I was you, that's what I would do. There's a lot more better islands, trust me. Now, if you guys also don't know already, I actually do this as a series. I do a thing called Firestone Kingdom. The new episode will be coming out tomorrow, by the way, for everybody wondering. And in that series, I actually play on this world, but I have my own island up the top right. And me and my friend Cal the Gamer, we actually do a series on this, as I said. And and it is a really great series and if you guys want some inspiration on what to build on this world or just some ideas or in general just want to watch something and see something pretty funny i'll definitely go check it out because me and cal are such a laugh especially on that series guys so right away guys as i said there is so many islands honestly it's unbelievable there really is there's just so so many guys but there's a lot of good stuff on them like islands like this is just covered in trees but really great for building but you guys don't really want to see this do you you guys want to see all the great 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 stuff now Personally, I would recommend staying on either the island there or the middle island or the one up the top right where I stay because those are the really only good islands in the game. No offense to the others, they're all still pretty reasonable, but they aren't the greatest, guys. Now, this is an unbelievable thing, guys. This is what makes this world really, really, really unbelievable. The gold pillars are actually free monster spawners or actually monster spawners. And then the silver one or the iron even, that is actually a, I think that's a minecart rail. I know, um, it's actually, I think it's, what is that in fact? I don't know what that is. Let's go actually have a look. Let's go have a look, guys. It's really unreal though, the seed. Honestly, it's seriously just crazy how good it is. There we go. Oh, need some. There we go. Ah, there you go. It's a mine shaft. Yes, of course. So, guys, we actually have a massive mine shaft here. I'm not even going to have a look in the chest, but there is just so much stuff down here, guys. I have actually had a look already. I do know that this was a mine shaft. I just forgot the name for it there. But really, guys, there is so much. And it was, I thought it was a chest or something. I don't know why. But honestly, guys, I would say another little uh, disclaimer. This world, if you are doing this, is honestly unreal for factions. If you are wanting to do factions with your friends, you can just basically all take an island each, have teams, and they can have their own islands. And you guys can oh, just do some unreal stuff. I did do this on 360, as I said. Um, now I actually play it on PlayStation 4, obviously. But I'd done this on 360, and it was such an unreal thing. It was so much fun to do. And wow, those mine shafts are unreal. You can see more over there. There's one then there that we just went to. I think that's one down there, is it? I'm not 100%. Yeah, it is. Um, there's one in there, and I think there's one up here as well. Yeah, whoa. So I don't really want to go exploring all them. There's so much more to show you guys, and I don't want to really kind of just ruin it there. So let's go back up here, guys. Now, this uh, also the coordinates for this, guys, are on the screen right now. You guys can just copy those coordinates, so, but they will be on the screen right now as well. And that is coordinates for this mine shaft, guys. Now we'll go to the first pillar here, which I genuinely didn't understand how this could be possible, but they had one, then two, then three right beside each other, guys. I mean, within the radius of only about 20 blocks each, which is just insane, guys. And each one actually aren't that bad. Their loot is actually pretty good. 
Now this one here personally I wasn't a big fan of because of the spider but it does come with a golden apple guys which is always another useful thing. I mean who doesn't love golden apples and they are a pretty rare thing to collect actually. So definitely in my books to be not too bad. Now I don't think this one actually takes you to the other one does it? I, maybe it does maybe it doesn't. I'm pretty sure the other one's over here so it may. Uh, but the other one basically guys is actually unreal as well honestly. They're, they're both all the three of them are really good. I'm just saying though in general if you want zombies I'd probably not go to the one there. Now this one I'll actually give you guys coordinates to first as well. Now the coordinates for this guys is X49, Y46 or sorry Y64, Z2649 jeez. And you just want to go to these coordinates and go straight down and you will find it guys. You'll basically go directly into it. And then for the next one guys I think this is a zombie one. I'm not 100% here but it is another really 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 great one. If we could actually get down. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Missed that one. There we go. Yes, this is a zombie one, guys. Now, this one is pretty cool. And this one actually comes from some really great loot, guys. If you are starting a survival world, whether that be factions or, you know, just some in general good survival world. But if I was you and I was doing factions, I'm pretty sure we all know the sudden rush to get food and build farms and do really great things like this. Now, to get food and build farms, you need all the best of food. Melons being one of the most amazing foods, but the hardest to find, guys. I can assure you this was one of the hardest to find in my world. I actually never found this on 360, but I wish I did now. But four melon seeds, um, that's pretty good, and obviously you can get all the other food as well. And some diamond horse armor, which is really great, actually. Some gold horse armor, which is incredibly good and incredibly impressive, guys. Now, there are the actual coordinates for this one. It's X minus 119, Y 24. Z305 and that is the coordinates for this guys you can come down here and I know do what you want guys and there's so many more other mines here honestly you'll be mining for hours I done it on 360 and I was honestly mining for hours now for the last one guys I do think this is another zombie one there is not a skeleton one I don't think this may be a skeleton one but I think it's zombie yeah it is zombie but this one actually comes with two chests guys unlike the others others only come with really one but this one comes with two and it's actually a really another great one and as I said guys again golden apples gunpowder iron horse armor so that's you got iron gold and diamond right away it also comes with some, another golden apple so that's three golden apples you also get pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, and more gunpowder. So you basically got everything you need for the farm kind of idea. You really are just ready to just kick right off your feet and just start, I don't know, a factions or a base even. Now, again, guys, this is really your choice what you want to do with all this stuff. Obviously, I'm just giving you guys ideas. Now, there's not really a lot else in the world. There's no villages, nothing like that, which is quite a shame. I'm not going to lie. But this is a really cool island here. I would, I would all the islands suggest staying on the middle probably because you are in the center of everything. There is an island so you can just build your base around you. Um, and again guys it does come with some pumpkins so that's a good place to start a farm. You've got plenty of actual grass here to break and you can get some more stuff. Another little bonus guys that it comes with is just down here really crazily is the ender portal. And if you guys don't know it is pretty crazy to see one like this just right under the water right at the bottom of the island which is just insane guys really and if you go inside this guys it is massive again there is so much more stuff this this world in general has so much loot guys now the port only comes with one eye vendor which is kind of crap to be honest but not too bad when you consider what you could have and then if you go down here guys if you just mine straight down you will find this little room here and right away there's a chest with some redstone and an iron pickaxe so you guys can go mining instantly and grab some of this materials from in here there's just so much more good stuff guys i'm not even going to go exploring it all because it'll take too long but there's so many things in here that you guys will definitely want to use now guys the what could top this you know like that's the thing what could genuinely top all this amazing loot guys all this amazing stuff well as I said, these big islands are kind of like the off-put of the world, I would say. These kind of things are really irritating. But I suppose if you're doing factions and you do want to maybe play in a bigger area, or maybe, I don't know, just do some pretty sick stuff, this would be the place to do it, guys. But if you guys come over here, very just slightly over to the sand biome, you guys will notice a little hidden temple. Now, I honestly thought there would be a village here, but they never put a village in, which is kind of a shame. There definitely could be one there or one here, but, you know, it happens, guys. And in this is a really good amount of stuff, guys. Another really great amount of loot. 
as you guys can see there smite or sorry yeah sharpness five which is unreal guys uh, there's tons of gunpowder in there there's also two more golden apples so we're currently at five golden apples there's a lot of just normal average apples but more gunpowder and bones so you guys can bone meal your watermelons or your pumpkins to make your farm go faster some gold to maybe make a gold sword some more gunpowder some more strength to make some fishing rods perhaps or some bone arrows and a spider eye guys plus also all the tnt underneath that you guys can use to troll your friends as well Anyway guys, that is basically it for this seed. There is not really a lot more stuff that I found really well hidden. If you guys do find anything else or any more hidden stuff in this world, do make sure to tell me in the comment section below and drop it down below to help everybody else out. Also make sure to drop a like if you haven't already and subscribe because I, up I upload daily content on Minecraft with tips, tricks, tutorials and glitches guys. Anyway, other than that guys, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you all in the next and peace out guys. Wherever love goes, there is also misery It's no mystery And you and I, we got history Yeah Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy When we're in too deep And you and I, we got history Yeah